Hi there. Welcome to a basic introduction to mechanical ventilation. This is chapter 4.2, Other Ventilator Alarms. There are many other alarms and combination of alarms that can occur when a patient is on the ventilator. Fortunately, most are fairly obvious and generally not immediately life-threatening. We already dealt with the high pressure alarm, but low pressures can also be detected. When low pressure alarms it usually is due to a ventilator disconnect from the patient, a loss of the airway, such as a self-extubation, or a cuff leak. Some ventilators will even alarm a simple patient disconnected message to tell you the problem rather than just giving you a more obscure low pressure alarm, which then needs to be troubleshot. The apnea alarm can go off if the patient is in a spontaneous mode, such as pressure support. In this case, the patient has stopped trying to trigger the ventilator. This is usually due to a change in the patient's condition, such as a head injury that has progressed onto brain death, or, more likely, from the effects of sedation and neuromuscular blockade that you have given them. Similarly, a low tidal volume or minute ventilation alarm, depending on the model of ventilator you're using, is usually a consequence of patient effort declining. This can be from the effects of sedation, or a decline in the patient's level of consciousness. When a patient gets disconnected, or if there's a leak in the system, or the cuff, then some models of ventilators can alarm with a low tidal volume or minute ventilation instead. Conversely, a high tidal volume or minute ventilation alarm is usually due to the patient being anxious or in pain. Your sedation may be wearing off, or you may have even selected an inappropriate minute ventilation or tidal volume for this particular patient. Occasionally, if there is an excess condensation in the ventilator tubing, the rocking back and forth of the liquid during inspiration and expiration can be enough to falsely trigger the ventilator independent of any patient effort. This is called autocycling and is usually very easy to fix by just emptying the water out of the tubing. As you can see, most of these ventilator alarms are not that difficult to understand and are generally not very life-threatening. The only one that you should keep an eye out for, however, is the disconnect alarm or in the case where your particular ventilator will not give you a specific patient disconnect alarm, look for low pressure alarms as a clue. 